Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review for you today. Uh, basically it's just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they call Season 5 of the show Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I guess just because they don't really have an overarching plot for the entire 5th season. They kind of started off with a little 5 episode kind of arc. And then I think when they come back, because they just kind of went on hiatus again. I don't know. This, the airing schedule for Ninja Turtles is very strange to me. Because they'll kind of do, just disappear for a couple months. Come back to a bunch of episodes in a row. You know, do the end of one season, the first episode of the next season, seamlessly with no break. Then disappear for another couple months. I don't know. Uh, it's very strange and it's hard. You just kind of have to check back each week to see if it's going to be on this week or not. But basically, the fifth season is called Tales from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It will be the last for this series, but they've already got another one lined up. So they're going to do, I think, a 2D animated cartoon next. So all that aside, uh, this is Crimson Leader. But as you can tell, it's Tiger Claw in his kind of ceremonial robes with his kind of... I don't know, what would you call that? Like a... It's a drapery? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not up on my clergy paraphernalia but um some kind of like scarf or something to kind of mark him as a higher up in the clergy of i guess super shredder clergy uh minor spoilers if you haven't seen the episodes that have already aired in season five i think there's been five episodes so far but basically they uh Tiger Claw has this kind of congregation of sewer monsters and he's trying to resurrect super shredder and he summons a demon who's really awesome and voiced by Mark Hamill. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. But anyway, here is the figure. I don't know why it's just called Crimson Leader. Uh, it's Tiger Claw in his kind of ceremonial robes. You can see he has a metal hand. Again, kind of spoilers if you missed the episode where he lost his normal hand. He gets a metal one. And then he has two accessories here. Uh, taking a look on the back. Uh, let's see what it says here for the on top. It says, On his vengeful quest to rid the world of Splinter and the Turtles, Shredder forces Stockman Fly to inject him with a mega dose of super mutagen. Mutated and completely beefed up, Super Shredder thinks he is now strong enough to destroy his enemies. Can the Super Ninja Turtles rise to the challenge and finally defeat their greatest adversary? I don't really know what makes the Turtles super. They do not undergo any kind of transformation of any kind. They just kind of put on these new costumes that are all black and they're neat costumes they look good on the show you can kind of get a look of them here in the top corner but they're not really super in any way uh so the previous packaging when super shredder came out was the four turtles with super shredder in the middle and now they kind of moved him up and then they tossed on tiger claw here on the bottom so i don't know if there are going to be any more i mean at toy fair we saw some random repaints and stuff but it looks like for now um soup in the super shredder i don't know maybe they're classifying this as like super shredder sub arc of tales of the i don't know i don't know <laughs> but i feel like at this point i've gone on long enough just kind of waxing intellectual about the uh the tv show and and uh the packaging here so let's go ahead let's get crimson leader out of the packaging and let's take a look at the figure itself so here is crimson leader aka tiger claw out of the packaging pretty nice job with the detail on the face i think i like that pretty much uh the eye is a little weird just getting a little bit closer there i don't know if it's supposed to be a solid white eye or if that's like a pupil right there just completely looking up to the sky i'm thinking it's just kind of a paint smudge and he's supposed to have a solid white eye but it almost kind of looks like he's cross-eyed or something i don't know but the head can move from side to side. You can see the shoulder joint here, up and down, as well as spin 360. No elbow articulation, that's one solid thing. And then you have the wrist rotates like that. Uh, pretty nice detailing here on the like scarf, for lack of a better term. But it does seem kind of flimsy, and I'm kind of worried that over time that might break down. Uh, they're kind of pushed in fairly well, like the way they're attached. I think they they fit into a seam like right here and just push in. The metal arm or metal hand I should say can move as well. Uh, the other thing that's nice is he has a slit here in the back of his robe. 
and you can move. His legs do have leg articulation. He's got, and it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can get closer in here. It's all black, so it's probably not going to show very well. But there is, um, now I think the, the hip is a normal hip joint, kind of like the same as the shoulder, where it can go out, up and back and, you know, back and front. But it's hindered by the cape or robe here. But then you definitely have uh, normal knee articulation. So you can see that. So that's kind of cool. I mean, again, because of the robe, it hinders it, but it is there. So if you can make it work, um, you know, it is there. But it's really just no ankle movement, 90 degrees in the knee, and then whatever you can get out of the hip with the robe in place. So that's a bit of a bummer. But it's decent. Like I said, if you can manipulate the robe so that it's, you can get it out of the way, the leg articulation is there. Better than nothing. Here are the two blasters. I believe they're very similar to the ones that normal Tiger Claw comes with. And you can go ahead and put these in his hand. Uh, trying to figure out which one fits in each hand the best. Looks like maybe that one fits a little better there. Maybe this one can go in here. I don't know. They're not... The metal hand doesn't hold either of the guns very well, unfortunately. But you can get them in this hand fairly decently. He looks a little weird holding them, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to include these accessories, you should make it so that they fit pretty nicely. I mean, he can hold it. It's just, it's not the best. Plus, he looks really strange. It's like he's never held a gun before. <laughs> and just to be sure, there is no, um, like, holster or anything underneath the robe. At least none that I can see. But I have to say, I like the look of the figure. I mean, weird weapon poses aside, I don't even really care about the weapons because I don't remember him using the weapons all that often when he's in this form. He Really, what the accessory he should have come with is the little tablet he uses to control the demon. That would have been a much better accessory than these two guns. I assume because they already had these molded from the normal Tiger Claw figure, they decided to just include them. But it would have been a much better accessory to have him come with the little talisman that he holds. Now in the back you can kind of see the hood. And it looks like there's a hole here if you could plug something in. But <coughs> Excuse me. He doesn't come with anything to plug in there. So, I don't know, if you had some kind of jetpack or some kind of other accessory, it's possible that you could plug it in there. Because there's a decent sized peg hole in the back, but nothing to, I guess you could do that. If you want to put a gun in his back, I don't know. Hey, your imagination is the limit, right? In any case, he's got a peg hole there on the back. I think it's a decent amount of articulation. I like the look of the figure. That's why I pretty much, I got it because I like the look of it. I love the metal claw. I think the detail on that is pretty nice. And I just, I think he looks neat in the robes. It's kind of a weird look and I probably, you know, when I first saw pictures and stuff, I didn't think I was going to get it because I was like, I don't really need tiger claw in a robe, but it surprised me when I saw it in store. I really like the look of it. I think the paint especially on this part here, is really well done. I think the detail on the head looks absolutely great. I think they got the nose. They even painted inside the mouth, which I have to say is a pretty nice detail there. It looks good. Really, all the paint on the head looks good. It's just kind of a classy look. Like, I think he looks good in this dark robe with these... Uh, you know, tassels here on the front. I really don't know what they're called. If they have an official name, someone in the in the comments let me know because I feel bad. But in any case, I recommend this figure. I like it a lot. I think it's got a decent amount of articulation. I think the paint on it looks really sharp, looks really cool. I love the detail of the metal hand because that's, you know, in canon with the show. I like the attention to detail there. Again, the accessories are a little weird, kind of a weird choice. I would have much rather had the little talisman. He could easily just kind of slip into this hand so he could control the demon. Would have been a much better accessory in my in my opinion. But it is what it is. 
We also have some pegs here on the bottom. So if you have a playset or something, you can peg in. But yeah, I like them. I recommend them. I mean, at $8 a piece, you really can't go wrong with most of these figures. Some are better than others, and I think this is one of the nicer ones. Nice paint, nice detail, decent articulation. Definitely recommend them. Just the weapons are kind of lame. So in any case, I'm just saying the same things over and over again. Hope you enjoyed this look at uh, Tiger Claw, or I'm sorry, Crimson Leader from the Tales of the TMNT line. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.